Hi, this is John Pettigrew talking through my hat. Uh, and this video I'm going to be looking back at last week's IPG Spring Conference, um, which was my first Spring Conference. It was really good experience, a good couple of days. Um, getting there was quite easy, although I was quite surprised to find there was still snow on the ground when I arrived. It had all gone at home. Um, it was really easy to get my first cup of tea, which was very important after the drive to the hotel, which was near Oxford, near Chipping Norton. Um, the first sessions on the Wednesday morning when I arrived were called Train to Gain, and we were looking at email newsletters and using social media. Um, and there was some real sharing of data from the people who were presenting, which is what I always find really, really valuable, and that kind of real world experience you can draw on when you're trying to put your own plans together. Um, and then we had a big session by Alan Moore, not the comics artist, the uh, designer, looking at um, design in all aspects of our professional life. The importance of beauty and passion when you're creating something, um, which means not just the books we make, but the businesses we create, because why would you deliberately create something that isn't beautiful, he was saying, which it was really inspiring talk. Um, followed by perhaps less inspiring, but very important session on the new GDPR regulations that are coming in in a couple of months about data protection. Um, James Wall, I'm talking about what they've done at F&W Media. And again, some really interesting viewpoints and experiences of what they've looked at, the things they found important they've had to deal with. Um, a complete contrast to end the day was a session, um, Find Your Focus by Michael Townsend Williams, looking at, or not looking at anything, it was talking about mindfulness, taking care of ourselves, spending time to be quiet. We even did a joint breathing exercise together to help us find that calmness. That was a really interesting way of ending the day, I thought. Um, after the formal sessions were done, actually one of my best sessions of the day was called You and Your Business, which is just a group of people sat around a table talking about what they do, and I found that really inspiring to meet people who are passionate about their work, about what they're doing, and in, in completely different areas to what we do, which is really interesting. Thursday, the second day, uh, we kicked off with Amal Rajan from the BBC talking about different aspects of media and where they're going. Um, he was saying that media isn't splitting into free and specialist, but that does mean that we now know people will pay for quality, which we didn't know before. And he left us with a vivid image of a bat with fangs, which is all about how Western media um, internet giants are colliding with their Chinese equivalents, and this is going to be a big thing he was saying in the next few years. Ken Clark, MP, talked to us about Brexit. Um, nothing terribly startling in that. We all know Ken Clark's opinions on things, but it was a really interesting to look back and look forward at some of the things that the shape these things might take. A um, couple of sessions on branding from Emma Hopkin at Bloomsbury and Sanfi Thomas at Sage. Very different. Uh, Bloomsbury dealing with the the, the tail end, in a sense, or the reinvigoration now of the Harry Potter brand, which is so important for them, and Sage, uh, a learning brand, being passionate about learning, but looking at how they have put their brands together, used their brands and reinvigorated them was really interesting. Um, and then there was a big session from David Shelley, who's the new CEO of Hashet UK, on how independent publishers can learn from the big corporates. We have a lot of strength as small companies, but big companies do some things well and he was particularly suggesting that the long neck, the long period of time that corporates will spend getting projects right, yeah, it's actually a good thing. And also calling out the need to invest in good systems to liberate your creative people to do the important work. And then finally, to close, my favourite little joke of the entire double week, double day, was a David Taylor session looking at his experiences down in Australia and things that are going on in that market. Uh, it was such a shop he'd gone past in one of the small towns there uh, for uh, clothing for, for women who are expecting babies uh, called Up the Duff and Stuff. I like that. Um, overall, it was a great conference. If you haven't been to the IPG Spring Conference, this was my first. Um, please, yeah, I'd suggest go. It was really good. Um, I met a lot of interesting people, had a lot of great conversations, and I've come away more enthusiastic and passionate than I was when I went, which is pretty much all you can ask for from a good conference with some great ideas. Hopefully I'll see you on YouTube again another time uh, when I continue to talk through my hat. Thank you.